What's up guys, Tickron here, welcome to day 3 of Pikmin, let's play, yeah, whatever. So, I actually had to take a look, not, not big of a break, more like, maybe a minute, because my eyes were like, really killing me in last thing, it was like, it's like you got something in your eye and you have to keep scratching and it just doesn't stop itching. Okay, so, since we have, you know, a certain amount of pigments, we're just going to take out all of our reds, all of our blues. Ah, whatever, I'm just gonna spoil it now. There are three different types of color pigments. Red, yellow, and blue. We have yet to find blue, and we have only yellow and things. So we don't have that much pigment, so we're just gonna... Uh, flower this up. I'm actually... Gonna open up most of the doors needed. Oh, don't tell me our RNG is gonna be crap again. We have a pigment that just randomly fell. Oh my god, do, do not tell me we're not gonna have... Nectar again. Because if we get four... Oh, there is some nectar. So another... You're supposed to get this on day two, but... Some of our pigments actually didn't get flowered up. And they end up wasting two of them. But now we have every pigment flowered up. Except for two that magically didn't want to come in. So... So we're just going to throw these guys on top of it. And... That's what we're going to do. Is... No, 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 no. Oh my god, we almost. No, they did it. No, guys. Why? Wait, where's one of our pigments? No. You went for the wall. You fucked up. It's your fault. No one else is. No, don't take it back. It's not. No. I fucked up. I pressed C to change the camera around. Uh, so what do you, what do, you do after a wall? Is here we get tired? Okay, so we can't go that way. So we already fucked up already. So let's actually go harvest some of our pigments back. Ah. Actually I want that for the yellow. No, I no. Red. Please. This. There we just need one to go for it. We actually don't need all 79 Pikmin to take care of them. Damn it. The whistle's not really helping me anyway. Okay, so after a while, he'll get tired. And he's facing a ray I don't want really want to be in. Okay, there we go. So what I'm going to do, attack him. Attack him. And yeah, you can kill him way fast. Okay, so what I'm going to do... Is take the yellows to take this back because we okay yellows are actually not that important in this game but I do want to have as much pigments as I can of that color just because and I believe these guys will not be back it's just gonna be those two enemies I believe respawn after a set amount of days so we'll pick up these bomb rocks okay, there we go and we should be able to open this. I think these take nine to open up. So we're just gonna throw this down. There we go. So we have one left. So we're gonna hold A so we know we have the bomb rock always. Thanks. So we're gonna throw it at this, which are do a lot more to it. So we're gonna leave these guys to do it. And that's where the second part is. You guys go back to doing that. And there is a hole right here for you to walk back there. But having every single pigment go through there is going to take a long time. And besides, the part you get over there, you won't be able to actually pick up. To be honest, I believe you only really need at least 18 uh, yellow pigments. Or 19. I think 19 or 20 yellow pigments throughout this whole game. But we're not going to do that. Okay, so with the rest of these guys, we're going to pick up bomb rocks. And do something with them. Um, I'll say my mouse, but it's not my mouse. It's my sense of ours. Now working. Okay, so we have some bomb pigments. But what we're gonna do? Cause like I said, these this guy up here is quite buggy, so you can't really. Sometimes you really can't. Here's the thing: when you throw pigments. 
and you call him. Oh, I want to have to do this because sometimes Pikmin 2 will keep on following you. So what you want to do for these Pikmins is touch him. That's all. You just want to touch him. So what we're going to do... Throw one Pikmin. You throw it at the guy. Throw another one. There we go. And we got the shock server, so we can come back for that later. And if we want to, we could do the same thing down here. There we go. We got that guy out of the way. We have one bomb rock left. And what we can do... There's more right here. Just let him throw it at that guy. There we go. We're fine. So, they finished that wall. You can use bomb rocks over there as well. But you have to do... It's not really a glitch, but I think you can do in this game. That can be really helpful. Yeah, I, I, how would I, like, a running jump throw, I guess you can say. Not running. A running long throw, I guess you can call it. Yeah, that's, I guess that's what we can call it. Basically, if you run, basically, let's say, you hold A, you're a Pikmin like this, and you, like, do this, you can throw it super farther. And that's kind of how you can get... You know, that's how you can get something faster, I guess you could say. So this is part three we're getting right now. Well, actually, it's part two because the other one is in a different location. There we go. So we got those guys carrying that back. See, look, half the day has run by and we already have what we need. We can get one more part. And that's all we can get. Because I believe another part requires us to fight a boss and I'm not really in a bossy mood. <laughs> Uh, this external bolt, I believe that's what it's called. The ex external bolt. It's a bolt to hold in, kind of. I think it's an optional thing. There are actually, I think, four optional pieces in this game that you don't have to get, but I'm going to get them anyway. I believe we need, like, 30 pigments to carry things back, so... So we're just gonna throw up like a whole bunch of these. We're gonna vomit it all up. I'm kidding. <laughs> There's a wisp thing where you can throw it and that'll give you nectar, but you kinda don't need that. So we're just I really just want pigments to get 100 so I don't ever have to pluck pigments again. Because plucking is really annoying to do, really. So if you can always have 100. Pigments, I think. Okay, since we got four parts now, or five. Yeah, I think five, once you get five parts, that will happen. So we have like, gotta do his thing. So once we, yeah, once we get 100 Pikmin, uh, it won't harvest anymore, or, or it will still harvest, you just can't. Basically, you can't pick them up, I guess. They won't plant anymore. You have to actually go to the onion and do it manually. Which is better. better. So I have 10 guys do that. And we got that. So that's an extra part. That is three. So we still get one more, but that's what requires to fight a boss. By the way, pigments can't go in water unless you have the blue pigments. So, careful now. So let's pick up these guys. And I don't know if that's the bomb door or not. We have to find out. Oops. Oh, we're gonna actually go find out real quick if it's a bomb door or not. I could get that 20 p thing up there. Is it 20 or 10? Yeah, 20 for the yellows. But nah, I'm not gonna worry about that. So if we get an extra part, we only have to get like maybe one or two parts in the next 
area to do that. No, that it's not a bomb door. It would be faster if you have bomb, but I can have these guys work on it. As I don't know why the plucking. Oh yeah, we can't go up there due to the fact we don't have uh, a way to break those. Okay. Never mind. So we won't be getting that part. I forgot that you needed. Oh. Certain. I uh, to open that door. You can, like I said, use the running throw trick with bomb pigment, but I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm missing two pigments somewhere. Oh, they're over there. That is fine because I'm gonna be just harvesting the rest of the day anyway. I could, you know, pick up, open up other areas, but. Um, yeah, we're gonna. I don't actually think we have enough bombs to open up that area. There you go. Let's have those guys carry that back. Get up. Let's so get that. Okay, uh, hopefully our pick went oh nuts. There were some yellows. Only need yellows. I think I pick up some red, oh well. I pick up this guy, but okay. So I guess if anything, we can use this to throw these at these guys and kill them fast. Oh crap, there's... You threw it at the wrong guy! You threw it at the wrong one! Retreat! Well, that's fine. Cause he won't... He's gonna be distracted by that. Wait, 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 no. He's back asleep. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Kill him! There, so we have all the enemies over here defeated. Which is kind of pointless, we're just gonna use it to harvest anyway. It's funny how a lot of people say harvest. Like, ooh, we can harvest them. But the thing is, they're actually plants, and when you harvest plants... Makes sense. So hopefully, yeah, I think these guys can actually bring that back in time. Since it's not going to sprout anymore, we should be fine. There's actually something else I could have done, but hold on, let me check the map. Because there's a bridge, but I think the other bridge requires to have blue pigments to go from that side. But if that's the case, we can just open. Yeah, because... You have to go from over there. As long as we get this done. Now? Is there any pigments we left along the way? Yeah, one over there. Okay, these guys won't be able to do it in time, never mind. Actually, no, they may have been able to. By the way, any pigments are in this area won't actually die when the timer goes down. Where's the rest of our pigments? Um. Oh, they're over here. And then we're missing two over here. There we go. We got them all. So that's every every single one of them. We brought back a lot of them. Hopefully none of them gets... Dang, I just like this 
I'll let the countdown do its thing. Skip. Three days since impact. Now I, I added yellow pigments to my list of discoveries. These creatures can build bomb rocks, and perhaps I can use them to blast down rock walls and open up new regions. Red and yellows, as well as bomb rock carriers, break into squads for press C. Yeah. By the way, in Pikmin 3, everyone can carry rock bomb rocks. So we got a lot of red today. Like, we have a hundred red already. So anyway, next time on Let's Play Pikmin, we will take on day four by going to the Forest Needle. To be quite honest, I hate this part. I mean, this area. Just because there's a lot of doing it. But we have three parts left to get there, and to be quite honest, all three of them kind of require blue to do and this one we have a lot so yeah I'll see you guys in the next part the next day